Hello guys, welcome again to my channel. This is Rastax TV and today um well I just actually uploaded a, a new video just today and that was regarding you know adding multiple Google accounts and uh, with that one it's kind of like experimental that's that's because you know we haven't done a uh, hard reset on the phone because it'll it's just pretty much gonna give us less um, you know uh, possibility of getting success but it actually did so if, if you are interested with that just go ahead and watch my previous video but this one I'm gonna be doing a hard reset on this phone to uh, make sure that you know we do it in a uh, clean way All right so I'll be explaining something first so uh, for the files that we are needing, uh, it's going to be the same with the, the previous file. Well, almost, but there's just only one um, APK file that uh, we're going to be using differently. Well, not differently, but it's a different version is what I mean. Uh, this is for the account manager or Google account manager app. The previous one is a newer version. It's the 6.0.1. But... Um, I you know I tried and had better success using the uh, older version and this one um, it's the version 4.4.4 so basically everything else is gonna be the same except that so we, we are still gonna do it in a step-by-step -step process now let's start so we're gonna need to uh, use the what do you call it this app called quick shortcut maker which we are going to install right now this one we're actually uh, gonna need to reset the phone sorry I forgot that one so let's start by resetting the phone first Sorry guys, um, just have a lot of things in my mind right now, so let me do that and wait for it to come up. Alright, so it's coming up and once this phone has restarted, I'll go ahead and do the uh, quick setup as fast as I can so we can start right away installing the uh, applications that we need and go along with the step-by-step -step process so that's there and apologize me for the uh, quality of this video guys because I'm just using a phone uh, this phone I'm using right now to shoot this video is the Note 9 it's a Samsung Note 9 um, it's my wife's you know phone so I just bo borrowed from her so I can make the, these videos that I've been uploading recently so let's see it's coming up and it should let us set this up now in a moment So again, we'll be doing the exact the same steps that my previous, um, you know, tutorial video or guide um, have in there. So the main focus here is is the uh, adding of multiple Google accounts. So that's just going to be what we're what's you know important here in this topic. But pretty much everything else is just the same so let me set this up really quick so let's set this account later skip I'm skipping everything that can be skipped here and setting this as a new device then 
should bring us to this desktop uh, page of the phone itself. Uh, Alright, so now another thing is on this case we're gonna we're not gonna be using the backup app um, lower version here so we're gonna be using the, the built-in that's already on the phone right now since I'm having some feedback that a lot of us guys are you know getting errors in installing this uh, apps although these are you know working apps as tested okay but uh, the main reason why we were using this in the previous video was to make sure that you know it's not getting um, errors itself upon restoring the uh, old backup file because um, you know that was exactly an old backup file but I have made some tests on my end and did have you know success as well using the built-in one so we're just gonna skip that part and just use this quick um, shortcut maker app for the login process so that's what I'm gonna install first that's done and then we will be needing to restore the backup and in that case we already have that here in the settings so just search for the backup and restore um, function here and then choose data backup say next agree external storage since we're using a thumb drive and we have all the files in there stored already so choose USB storage then you you should see this uh, backup file here since we have already moved the uh, Huawei folder in the root directory of our USB thumb drive now we're going to restore that right away so for the uh, password just uh, copy the hint itself or the tip one second here all right getting there and it's done all right now that we have restored the uh, LZ Play file, so let's just open it and we need to activate and allow. So, activate, allow, and then just click on menu button. So, to go back on this page here and just clear the memory. So, let's just clear the memory there. All right, relaunch this LZ Play app. And then wait for a second and press this blue button here confirm by clicking the blue button again and just let it stay like that all right now go to menu again so that's gonna leave it in the background and let's proceed in installing the uh, five AP, APK files under the step 3 folder there you go so let me do that really quick so this one two three hope you guys can see that four This one's gonna take longer than the rest, so let's just wait. That's done, and the last one, the fifth one, just for this time. Install. Done. All right, now we're gonna need to add our Google accounts so we're going to be using the uh, quick shortcut um, maker and look for Google account manager here open that and then on the list of Google account managers 
just look for the one with the description that says com.google.android.gsf.login.login activity open that and click on try say ok to this prompt and as you can see there's this three dots option on the upper right hand click and say browser sign in say ok and it's gonna ask as to uh, uh, sign in so let me do that I'll just show you the time on my screen here so you would see just putting in my email sorry for the delay I'm still putting in my password right now and it's trying to sign in so basically uh, once you submit your login credentials you know it should give you an error like this so it should say couldn't sign in there was a problem communicating with Google servers try again later so this was definitely the the, the problem that we were having um, previously uh, since the 19th I guess when the old process was having this login uh, concern and definitely it's still gonna be the same but here we just need to tap on next and then you know retry a couple of times so usually if it sticks on the sign in thing just leave it that way but in, if, if not just you know try it a couple of times more and then let it stay there all right just don't do anything you're just gonna leave it in the background and press on the menu button so now we are going to install uh, the uh, services framework which is under this folder here let me check this one so install this and this should automatically add the account okay ideally it should uh, based on some tests that I did so let's check and see if it sticked in our uh, user and accounts page so it's not yet in there um, if that would be the case let's go back to our quick shortcut maker page and then you should still see this page just say next until the, the page will go away and uh, should go back to this account manager page again in that case we're supposed to be getting errors here if it was successfully added so if not um, let's manually check under the uh, or even here with Play Store it should be added already but let's see if not we can check under the settings go to uh, accounts and users and it should be here like this so there as you can see right so that's already good contacts has been synced so that's looking good on there and now um, we're gonna need to add one more or if you have more than you know or how many accounts you have that you need to add just do that in this part so we're gonna try that again by doing it here on Google account manager so click on try again three dots uh, three dots menu browser sign in and then say ok and then it should show us the sign in page but maybe it's my internet because it's on data let me just connect to my Wi-Fi really quick maybe that's the reason why it's taking longer to uh, sign in it could have been done um, a while ago if 
it was via the Wi-Fi uh, connection. And let's see. All right, so I'm now connected to my Wi-Fi, and so now let's try again here. So I'm gonna um, attempt to add my second account. So stay there. I'm just gonna add this really quick. So it's signing in and it disappeared. So I have a feeling that that went through successfully. So let's check under our users and accounts and see if we have two accounts here. There you go. So there guys, we have two accounts already. Now uh, this other account is something that I can't really show. So I'm gonna attempt for the third time and see if it will still allow us so I'm, I'm still on this page guys so just to let you know and then here I'm gonna add one more and see if this will let me one moment Putting in the password now. And it's doing this two step verification thing. We just get the code really quick. And I'm putting in the code and submit it. Signing in and it disappeared went back to this page and now let me check okay I can't show you this third account by the way so let me just hide that all right so guys it added the third account so let me just show you but I'm gonna cover the one the or the third one here so it's on there all right so pretty much that step or that method is clearly you know working and here as you can see I just launched the uh, you know this Google Play Store and as you can see I have three accounts in there so I can you know switch to any of the three accounts so pretty much you know that's really cool alright guys so uh, I hope that helped you and uh, again, you know, I'll be asking you a favor. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. Click on the subscribe button with the uh, notification bell so you won't miss any updates or, you know, new videos that I'll be uploading. And also, um, if you like the video, please click on the like button. And... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be glad and uh, looking forward for your comments and your success stories as well in adding multiple Google accounts. Hopefully, this video is going to be helpful on your end. If you have any questions, uh, you know, do my best to attend to your questions in the comments below. Well, um, I always try my best really to answer any of your questions and uh, hopefully you guys will continue to support my channel thank you so much and see you in my next videos peace